your faces in the place this morning. Thank you for taking the time to be with us during this time. For those of you who weren't here when it was announced earlier, the projector coughed out on us this morning, so we won't have any and we're going to be just fine without it, but that's what's going on with all of that. It really matters that you are neither too old nor too young for God to use you marvelously, wonderfully, and uh, in ways that people might not expect. And I'm going to mention two examples that are historical figures in the scripture. And the first one is somebody that was too old for what God did, we would think. So this goes, flows into the Christmas story. It's in the first chapter of Luke. And there is this couple, a godly, older couple, Zacharias and Elizabeth. Amen. And Elizabeth was barren, the word says. So she was never able to have children. And they were both too old for that now. And Zacharias was a priest. And the word says that Zacharias and Elizabeth were very devoted and followed God's word carefully. They honored him with their lives. But uh, actually in that culture, to not have any children was considered like there was a curse on you. Like you had displeased God in some way. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, children were a big deal. That's who took care of you when you got older. They didn't have Social Security and all that. So um, when you didn't have children, there were all kinds of things involved with that. But there was even a shame and a disgrace that there was like something wrong with you that God <coughs> didn't give you kids. That was like the way people viewed it. Mm -hmm. And so they not only had the disappointment of it and the fact that he was going to help them out when they got too old and all of that. But they also had all that other stigma that was associated with it. And Zacharias was ministering before the Lord as he was called to do as in his priestly duties at the time when an angel appeared and told him that Elizabeth was going to get pregnant and she was going to have a baby, and, and not only that, but this baby was going to be like this awesome prophet of God, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is like a mind-blowing thing, but it, you know, it comes to pass. That's John the Baptist down the road. That's John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. And in all of that, you see that they were too old by everybody's standards for what God did. But you know, when God did it like that, it was clear that God did it, wasn't it? It was, it was God's will, it was God's timing, and it was God's glory. And it looked like it was too late. Everybody would have thought it was too late, but it wasn't too late. So you're not too old for God to do fantastic things in and through you. And there may be things like they, things that they longed for that were in their hearts for years. Because when the angel speaks to Zacharias, he says, your prayers have been heard. Now, I bet you he prayed for children a long time before that day. Yes. Don't you think, since yes. they were too old? When he said, your prayers have been heard, he might not even been praying about that anymore. He might have quit praying on that one. But see, sometimes we pray about stuff and we forget about it even. And then God comes along and at his timing, his timing. It wasn't that he didn't have favor on them, but it wasn't his timing. So you see, it, it, it unfolds like that. So be patient in the Lord and what he's doing in your life. And don't think you're, it's too late. You've crossed some bridge, and now because you've crossed that bridge, you can't. Oh no, if it's, if it's God's purpose for you, it's not too late, no matter how it looks. And God gets the glory. Now, you're not too young. There's a, a story in 2 Kings 22. There's a young man named Josiah. He's eight years old when he is made king over Judah. Now, his father was an evil king, and his grandfather was an evil king. And the whole country had fallen into gross 
idolatry. I mean, they had things set up in God's temple that I'm not even going to talk about it so bad. I'm not going to talk about it in here right now. Talk about but, it. <laughs> yeah, Matt, I'll tell you. Yeah, it's an adult, it's it's adult. adult subject. <laughs> okay, but it was just awful. And, the, and it was all over the country. I mean, they had set up all kind of, and they were involved in all kind of pagan stuff. And we mixed a little Yahweh into it. You know, because we just want to cover our bases. Yahweh, Jesus, Jehovah, Yeshua, Adonai. Okay, take, take him, and we'll mix that all up together. And so well, they've got his temple in Jerusalem, but they got all this other junk mixed up in it. Right? Because so they're just worshiping everything, trying to cover the bases. And Josiah comes along as an eight-year-old boy becomes king. And it says that he was a righteous king and was pleasing before the Lord his whole entire life. That's what the word says about him. And by the time this young man was 26 in his reign as king, he had launched a major overhaul of the whole religious countryside. I mean, he had the temple restored. They cleaned all that garbage out of there. And they found a book that was the law of God. You see, it had been lost. These people were just lost because they had generations now of being all in this idolatry. They found the, uh, the book and they brought it to Josiah and read it. And when he heard it, he tore his clothes because he was so struck in his heart how far the people's lives were and their practices from what God's word said. And he reinstated the Passover and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so you can read about him in 2 Kings 22, 23 in there. But he, he was eight years old when he started out as king. And he was a righteous king. So I don't care how young you are. God may call you to do things that usually are done by people older than you or that you might think you're not able to do yet. God, what I am saying is God has something he's calling you to right now. If you're only six years old, he still has a purpose for you right now. You are not too young for God to use you marvelously. And you are not too old either. So it really matters that we understand that. Don't ever consider yourself too young or too old for God to use in a wonderful way. But now we gotta, you know, listen to his voice and follow his will. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you.